there. What's it like disarming a landmine? To be honest. <laughs> um watch the details and look for broken patterns. Um Yeah, there we go. That that'd be good. Not quite as much of a ghost town as they say, is it? Good work staying calm and collected under pressure. It'll be a great example for the book. I know you may not want to see any more explosives for a while, but obviously you know your way around them. Right. Have a couple rainy day toys of mine. Oh, nice. And looking at this landmine, it gives me an idea. It's a terrible device that does terrible things, of course, but it's easy to make your own, too. Okay. That completes the first chapter, right? Correct. And it's looking very smart. Very smart indeed. Mm. They'll be dazzled by our intelligence. Or mine. Here, for your services, I've saved up quite a few stim packs. Of Beautiful. course you may need them. We've still got two more chapters to go. Okay. Let's do it. The second chapter is going to be a bit trickier, I think. It'll cover how to handle creatures out there. Okay. For better or worse. Right. For example, repelling mole rats, uh, learning about mire lurks, right. and when all else fails, how to handle being injured. So let's buckle down and get to work on this chapter. Okay. What's first? Um, yeah, let's figure this one out. Well, I never get to study anyone who's severely injured. Not without them crying to be fixed right away or trying to bleed out and all that. Right. But obviously, you can handle a lot of abuse. Sure. So if I'm ever going to find a good example of human anatomy and injury resistance, it'd be you. Next time you get badly injured, return here so I can examine you before I heal you up. I mean, you're going to get yourself hurt anyway, right? Yeah, I suppose. Jesus. Okay, uh, what could be possibly worth breaking my bones over? Did you know when bones break and reheal, they grow back tougher? In a way, you'd be repaying yourself. Yeah. Once I make sure you survive, <laughs> of course. But in a more tangible way, yeah. I can give you a modified environmental suit of mine. How's that sound? Ooh, now that sounds exciting. All right. Wow, what a great research assistant you are. <laughs> I mean, really, that's <laughs> dedication. Demonstrating how to withstand pain by getting injured? Yep. Wow. When you're ready, come back here with some serious injuries. Maybe a crippled limb or two. Okay. And I'll take notes and fix you up. That's wonderful. I'll be waiting here with plenty of bandages for you. Thanks. Don't worry. Just go get horribly injured. Oh, and be careful. Okay. Um, can you repair some of my... You got caps I need you to repair four caps. That's nothing. Laser pistol, 74 caps. Mm, we got to do it, though. Uh, let's just sell the rest of the stuff. She's got a lot of money, so we are going to be selling everything. We need rounds, though. That's what we need. Yes, this is what we need. We need all of that. And I don't think she has anything else for us. Pre-war money. I don't know what I'm going to use that for, but you guys are saying I might need it. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to sell the brass knuckles, the cherry bombs, the darts. Let's see here. The frag mines. Let's sell all of those. Although they did come in handy, but we're going to sell them anyways. Mini nuke. We're going to sell that. She's now giving us money. Pilot light. Uh, Salisbury steak. Sniper rifle is valued at 90. So it's actually pretty good. Toy cars, surgical tubing. Let's 
That's good. Boom. We now have 500. We have enough now to go and get the robot. But what is the what is the caps that I need? I need 500, but what is the barter that I need in order to get that, I wonder. That's another thing that we're trying to... Good hunting. Hmm. Okay, so I have 18 that I can spend. Seven. One. It didn't say how much barter. Okay. Alright, let's find out. Let's see how much barter I actually do have. I have 30 barter right now, but I also have speech, aid, oh, here we go, lock pick up by two, nice. Dirty water, why am I saving that? What am I saving that for? Well, how do you feel? I feel fine. You seriously want me to okay yet? Oh, don't think of it as crippling yourself for me. Think of it as getting free treatment when you eventually... Yep, got it. Dirty water. Let's get rid of that. Do you have clean water? Do you have purified water? I don't think you do, right? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Nope, you don't. That's okay, I guess. Oh, iron. You know what, jet? I'm also going to get rid of the jet as well, because I don't need it. And the knife I'm going to get rid of, because I really don't need that. Um, psycho, we're going to go ahead and get rid of the Psycho as well. Uh, Maddox, we're going to go ahead and get rid of that. That's damage resistance. I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of it, because I really don't need it. Food we're going to get rid of as well. Just don't need the food, I'm telling you. I'd rather have as much money as I can. Wait a second here. Okay, well. Maddox. Give here... Like five. There we go. Perfect. So now I've taken all of her money. We now have 752. Quick search says 70 barter is required. Okay, F5. And we're going to jump off of here just so that we get uh, hurt. All right, there we go. <laughs> I think we're good. <laughs> that's a, that's a pretty easy quest. Oh, hey, <laughs> kind of busy here, but I guess I can talk for a bit. What's up? <laughs> Well, how do you feel? Oh, God. You better be a good doctor. Well, lucky for you that I am. At least, pretty good. Good enough to fix this up, at least. You wouldn't happen to have a broken limb, would you? Mm. No? Well, never mind. Now, can you describe how you feel? God! Acute physical trauma, and... There we go. <laughs> uh, yep. Sounds like you know your way around a med kit. You could probably take care of yourself if I wasn't already here. Mm -hmm. 
Of course, since I am here, mm. I might as well take care of you now. Yeah. It's the least I could do. Yeah, I, I would say so. Ugh. How can you be walking around like this? I don't know. <laughs> no mess, no problem. Mm -hmm. Well, a bit of a mess, but no problem regardless. Mm. Here, you know, for the next time you get hurt and I'm not around. Two medics? Okay, sure. That wasn't really worth it, but let's do it. There's a sort of mole rat repellent I've developed. I need it to be tested on a few mole rats before I can say it's a success. Mm -hmm. There's a lot we don't know about Meyer Lurks and how intelligent and dangerous they are. Right. That definitely deserves research. I would say and so. And that should be it for the second chapter. Mm -hmm. Which do you want to check out? Well... Tell me more about the repellents of these mole rats. Mole rats can burrow into almost anything and cause a lot of trouble. So I figured I'd make a chemical repellent stick for people to shoo them off. But I need it to be tested before I put the recipe to paper in the guide. Mm -hmm. So I need you to find some mole rats and test it out a bit. Okay. I'll test out the repellent for you, no problem. It'll be easy. One tap with the applicator, and it overwhelms their senses with a sort of feel-bad sensation. Mm -hmm. Then they're gone before you know it. You could test it out on just a few mole ratties, but for real testing, try it on ten or more. There should be plenty in the tepid sewers downtown. Oh, dear God, okay. Oh, I can't wait to hear how the repellent... Oh, come on. You barely even left. <laughs> I can't imagine you tested it on a reasonable number of subjects so quickly. It can't have been a good sample size. It was a great sample size. Damn it. Rem Don't try anything. Don't draw anything. Alright, so, do I have the weapon? Where is it? Repellent stick? Alright, well, I guess we gotta... Make that number four. Yeah? You need something? No. Hmm. Let's see if there's anything else I could actually do in this area. Where's my quest at? Right here. Okay, so we actually do have a I'm fair John bit of Henry amount. Eden, president of the president of president there we go. It's very nice. Very nice indeed. Alright, let's do this. I don't think I have any purified water. Nope, I don't. F5 it, right there. Are you a mole rat? You are a mole rat. the heck is this over here? Oh, the adventures we had. From Nod Creek to Hagenville we roam. 